Hello and welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 425. I am your host, Nomo Sanzo, and well, we got some news for you this week. We got a lot of Comic-Con news. Yes, a lot of merchandising. So let's, let's hop right into it. So in the first news today, IDW reveals San Diego Comic-Con exclusive cover for Transformers Friendship in Disguise issue number one. So there's nothing much to say in the news or in, in, in the well, web, uh, EQD, but for pictures, let's look at it. So the picture depicts Twilight Sparkle and Optimus Prime looking at the stars and both of them are really looking good. Um, I'm not 100% sure how the normal comic cover is going to look like, but this one seems awesome. This one seems really awesome. Uh, as for when you can buy this, well, uh, it's available or it's listed for sale on the IDW website, so that's awesome. Let's double check. Uh, My Little Pony Transformers in Disguise. Yes, you can. It's sold out. Both of them. Well, let's not buy them then. Ugh. Still, uh, the cover looks awesome. And, uh, well, what can I say? It's, you can get it for 10 bucks if you buy it at the store. But if you really want it, probably you can get it online. Ugh. It's one of those cases where I really don't like this. But, uh, the My Little Pony cover for the Pony Life is just a reprint of the first issue of Friendship is Magic. Uh, it is a good story, and most of the time, Friendship is Magic has been reprinted, what, about eight times now? So there's eight variants out there. I think eight convention variants or so on, I don't remember. But still, uh, it's there, it's there. And if you know where to look for it, you can probably get it. So let's move on to the next news. And the next news is new Twister and Light Bright Pony figure appears. A UK-based toy store has apparently gotten wind from Hasbro that even more brands will be crossing over with My Little Pony in the near future. Two borrowing from Hasbro's gaming section of all places this time. Both Twister and Light Bright will be getting colorful horse companions similar to Ghostbusters, Power Rangers, and Transformers. One revealed a while ago in the Pony Crossover Collection. How long until we get more Magic the Gathering out of them? Fingers crossed. Picks below while we wait. So yay! This is awesome! Light Bright, cool. Um, ooh, this is oh, that's fascinating. Okay, um, let's break it down. So Hasbro has been crossing over their brands with other IPs that they have. Uh, it's My Little Pony Cross X. So we got Twisters, Transformers, Power Rangers, and so on. So this. It's pretty cool. It's one of those things where that um, ponies. Uh, yeah, this is really interesting. So one of the few f- things that irk me is that the mold is from G three or G one. I I think it's an older version, probably updated. I think it's G one, but the mold is all the same for most of them. Uh, that's why when I take a look see at Light Bright here, it's fascinating because it's not using the same mold as um, who now here Twister. So if we double check from the previous sets, we get to look see at well Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters have a similar look to Light Bright, and uh, most of the D and D ponies here just change mains and whatnot. So, it's not bad. It's something interesting. But personally, for me, it's just not for me. I, I don't really find this crossover interesting. Anyway, um, moving on to the last news. Uh, if you do enjoy, well, the ponies, like, um, whatchamacallit, 
uh, the style of ponies, then, well, you can get them on the Hasbro Plus Pulse Store. Uh, earlier, Sophisto mentioned that you can get them at Big Bit Toy Store. And it's up for pre-orders. Uh, and it will be released on October 2020. But you can get them at Hasbro Pulse for cheaper. So how cheap is this then? Uh, let's see. I'll read that bit later. Now let's go for this one first. Uh, big bad toy store. Uh, sixty-two ninety-nine, sixty-three dollars. What the post store says, sixty dollars. Yes. Um, cheaper than cheaper at three bucks. Uh, if you are what American, I'm thinking. I'm not hundred percent sure, but still, you can get it from the official store. So that's awesome. Limited to two per customer. Uh, not available to ship to Quebec, Canada. That sucks. But anywho, product description. Uh, Hasbro is excited to announce their newest My Little Pony crossover collection. This My Little Pony figures combine with Dungeons and Dragons to form the ultimate fandom. Each pony measures 4.5 inch and wears soft removable clothing. Because this, this is true because most of the others don't. Even what? Ghostbusters. Can we continue on? This set also includes an exclusive D20 die and an awesome illustrated Dungeons Master Screen, a perfect crossover for any role player or Dungeon Master. Product features um, 4.5 inch, made of plastic, uh, features My Little Pony in the style of Dungeons and Dragons, exclusive d20 die like yeah ah so um the ponies are mysteria shadow star vela stronghoof uh, spinner tell tell tail woodheart the kind a d20 die and the dungeon master screen so yeah the dungeon master screen looks awesome the ponies look awesome. I got no idea what the die is going to look like. <coughs> so if you are a dungeon master who loves ponies, this can work for you. And you know what? If you want to make a campaign with your ponies, you can do that too. Sorry, folks. Anyway, that is the news for this week. And well... Let's move on to the next topic, and next topic is what have I been doing with my week? So this week has been rather slow, nothing new, nothing interesting. Haven't been doing anything to warrant a discussion. Um, technically, they didn't do anything much. I did, well, mm, magic, did a lot of magic, oh, so well, not not. A lot of um, playing card games. Yeah, that's about it. Other than that, do I have any movie news? Um, yeah, I remember something. I remember something. So I watched an anime, and said anime is called B Stars. B Stars is really awesome. It's about uh, the best description I can say is Zootopia crossover with. Um, real world high school drama I think but anyway it's a fun show if you have not watched it you probably should go do so another show that I've watched is God of High School it is a fighting anime shonen type of show but it's set in South Korea so that's something cool. That's something you don't see every day. So that's something worth checking out if you're older and don't mind the fighting things. So anyway, um, there's nothing much for me to add on. So let's move on to the end. If you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at theambitiousgmail.com. 
You can also reach us on the Twitter, the show's Twitter account is at BNBS Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. And also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date, and Stitcher Radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on from the live <laughs> PonyvilleLive.com, links are in the show notes. Also do subscribe to the Review and Discussion Podcast <clears throat> uh, over on Stitcher Radio and iTunes, over there you can catch me, Silver Quill, and also Totera reviewing the Pony Comics episodes and specials. Sometimes we like to go beyond ponies and we like to cover, well, um, animes, cartoons, comics, and movies, and sometimes video games. Yes, we do other things than ponies too. So go check it out there. If you like support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash yes show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcast exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you for me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Jeffrey, Tristan, and also Master of Light. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and we'll catch you next week with another fun episode of Yes Show. See ya!